Sup guys, it's Nicole, aka Aortic Inkwell. I'm here with another little sketch piece that I did at Starbucks, uh, I think last week. <laughs> and um, I'm just sketching out one of my original characters that will be for my comic book that I am working on. This comic that is a long time in the making. And we'll hopefully have out around... Hopefully by the end of this year. Well, that's the plan. That's what I'm hoping for. I've been finding myself drawing my original characters a lot more often, you know, instead of um, fan art. Because um, I tend to work on a lot of fan art because I have the stress of doing, um, just getting stuff prepared for conventions so I get caught up in trying to create new pieces, you know, to sell there and everything, and I end up putting all of my original stuff, my personal projects, off to the side and for the sake of, you know, trying to make money, you know, try to stay on top of all the current, you know, hot stuff that sells a lot. <laughs> and, uh, unfortunately, a lot of the times, I don't succeed in that. Like the Zelda piece that I had been working on uh, last month, that I had done it just in time for a Level Up Expo, I didn't sell any of those pieces at all at both my conventions that I was at. I was at Level Up and Phoenix Comic Con. Not a single piece sold, which is kind of, you know, a bummer, but you know, it's it's hit or miss, and you know, I'm still proud of the piece that I worked on. You know, I still think it looked cool. <laughs> but, whatever. I liked it, and hopefully someone at a future convention will like it too. The character that I'm working on right now is, you know, obviously from my comic that I explained earlier, but uh, his name is Prody, and he looks very paranoid. <laughs> One of my friends had uh, likened him to a Doc Brown <laughs> kind of look because of all the weird ass hair and probably the his weird ass face too. I thought it was funny. I'm trying to experiment with a different process than I'm used to for these watercolors. I tend to ink first, watercolor later, but this time I'm doing all my watercoloring right over the pencils and then inking right over it and I think it has a pretty interesting style because you never know what you're gonna get so I thought it was pretty cool for you know these sketches and everything I'm still trying to figure out how exactly I wanted to finish my comic as I don't know I've wanted to keep it watercolored for a while but you know finding the materials for that is a little bit frustrating for me because they don't sell the type of watercolor paper that I can just print my inks on, you know? Well, it's a little bit difficult. I don't know, so I pretty much feel like I have to scrap what I have and start over or attempt to find something online like as an alternative for the time being. But yeah, I feel like I kind of want to do this type of watercolor style for my comic as well. But uh, just let me know what you guys think. Um, it's a little bit all offense, but I like it for for sketch purposes and everything. Like little quick doodles like I'm doing right now. Just look look my hands go. I mean look at that. Aren't I fast? <laughs> So again, if you guys want to like comment, send any suggestions or have questions or anything, feel free to comment, you know, in the comment box below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm open to, you know, questions and whatnot. I don't know, for some reason I have it in my head that I think people view me as standoffish and that I don't really like to socialize or anything. And you know, it can be further from the truth. I, I do like to talk to people and, and chat, but um, it doesn't really come up that often, you know? 
It's because of my goddamn hermit. I don't know about you guys, but I like to ramble on incoherently in these videos. And with that, I am going to go to sleep now because it is 2.20 in the morning and I have to get up in a bit so I can get the rest of my stuff ready for Amazing Las Vegas Comic Con! It is coming up this weekend and I am setting up today and I got accepted at the very last moment so thank you guys from Amazing for letting me, <laughs> letting me in and thank you for the person that backed out at the last moment. Ha <laughs> ha! And here we have it. Now doesn't he just look perfectly paranoid right here? Thank you so much for watching my video and please consider following any of my social media accounts to stay up to date with my art below. And if you'd like to become a patron on my Patreon, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much guys and I'll see you next time.